Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to explore two powerful features in AutoCAD, layers and blocks. These two features are essential for organizing and managing your drawings, making your work more efficient and professional. So let's dive in. Layers in AutoCAD are like transparent overlays that allow you to separate different types of objects or components within your drawings. Think of them as different levels or floors in a building, where each layer represents a specific aspect of the design, such as walls, doors, furniture, etc. For example, imagine you have a box with some dimensions on it. You can choose to have your dimensions on a separate layer than your box. To do so, first you have to create a new layer. In the layer dialog box on the very top, double click on layer properties. This will open the layer properties dialog box where you will see all your layers. As you can see, we have two layers. To create another layer, right click anywhere on the screen and choose new layer. Then you can choose to rename your layer appropriately. For instance, dimensions. Close the layer properties dialog box. Then to reassign these two dimensions to the layer dimension, simply select the two dimensions then head to the layer drop down menu, select the layer you want, and this will assign the two dimensions for the specific layer you wanted. This has many advantages. For instance, this will help you stay organized and will allow you to assign different properties to all your dimensions at once. For example, you can change all your dimensions colors by choosing a color from the layer drop down menu. Click on this box. And this will open the select color dialog box. Choose the color you want, click OK, and simply anything under that layer will change to that color. Also, you can choose to hide everything under the same layer. For instance, from the drop down menu, hit the light bulb, and this will hide all the dimensions under the dimensions layer. You can turn it on and off as you wish. Blocks in AutoCAD are collections of objects that can be treated as a single entity. You can copy, insert, and manipulate these blocks as you wish. There are many advantages for using blocks. For example, you can ensure consistency throughout your drawings, which is crucial for maintaining professional standards and avoiding errors. Also, instead of redrawing the same object repeatedly, you can simply insert a predefined block saving you time and effort. Let's look at an example using blocks. To create a block, simply type the command block, hit enter, and this will open the block dialog box. Name your block as you wish, then you have to specify what's under your block. Click on select objects, and then select the objects you wish to be under your block. Hit enter. And this will select all the objects that you want under your block. Additionally, you can specify a pick point for your block. Click on pick point, then specify the point you wish. And this will specify a pick point for your block. Once these two options are completed, simply click on OK. And this will create your first block. Now, to insert a block, simply click on the drop down menu and this will display all the available blocks for you. Click on block and this will allow you to place a new block. You can also choose to copy different blocks wherever you like. To change the block details, simply highlight a block, right click, and then click on block editor this will open the block editor dialog box where you can change your block details. For instance, if I wanted to add a circle in the middle of my block, I could simply draw a circle. Once it's drawn, I could save all the edits by clicking on this check mark, which will close the block editor. As you can see, once a block definition is changed, the same changes are applied to the same block 
everywhere in your drawing. This is very useful and will allow you to save time and ensure consistency throughout your drawings. Layers and blocks are two great tools in AutoCAD that can significantly improve your workflow and drawing organization. By mastering these features, you'll be able to create more efficient, consistent and professional drawings. This is it for today. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy times.